because I was fed up and I was tired of the caliber of people that I was dealing with. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How y'all doing? I know it's been a minute. I have been on a very long hiatus, but I'm back. But I'm gonna get into that, but before I do, let's pray. Father, I just thank you for your grace and your mercy. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your compassion. God, I thank you for this time that I will spend here with your child. I pray, Father, that the words that come out of my mouth will be your words. And I pray that everything that needs to be said will be said and that it will be received. Let my words be your words, Lord, and you have your way. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. Disclaimer. If you hear noise in the background, it's the holidays. My family is here and, you know, it's a little loud. Just putting that out there. Okay, moving on. I know that when I left, I'm always saying this, the past couple of videos that I've made that I promised myself that when I made this channel, I would be completely transparent and I gotta wrap a taste with y'all. I gotta be honest. I was not in a good space at all. And um, so much happened, um, especially with the last video I made. I told you guys that it was a really hard video for me to make. I wasn't feeling it, didn't wanna do it. I was like, no guy, ain't got time for that. Like, <laughs> no. Absolutely, positively no. <laughs> You trying me guys and we we're not about to be tried today and um i really didn't have the motivation to come back up here it was so hard for me to like be motivated a lot of things happened i had a couple of deaths in my family recently my aunt just passed away my cousin passed away oh my god family members sick and in the hospital there was so much going on so i didn't feel okay to get up here and share anything and some people might say that's selfish but you got to take care of you first before you can take care of anybody like i'm not going to be the type of person to pour and i'm pouring from nothing like that's just not going to happen but because my life is not my own and i'm surrendered to the father i gotta push out of that you know what i'm saying so i'm here but even though those things happened, I did enjoy my summer. Honey, did I enjoy my summer? I went on vacation. If you're from New York, I went to Lake George in New York with my family. That was my family vacation. And then I went on a girl's trip with my sister and our, our my friend, our friend, um, to Dallas. We'll insert some pictures somewhere on this. Without further ado, I'm gonna jump right into it. A few months ago, after i made my last video y'all know that i've been sitting waiting for the father to release my man because i don't know where he at y'all my sister likes to say his gps is probably broken or something maybe it is who knows okay who knows nobody knows i'm just sitting here waiting on him like jesus any day now father where's my man and um <laughs> I swear I was in the shower and I was like thinking to myself like you know every dude that hurt me that I was involved with whether it was a boyfriend or I was talking to them or whatever the case may be situationship whatever you want to call it um in the past six seven years of my life honey when this man show up <laughs> when he show up it's gonna be like Y'all ain't know how to act. Y'all know how to treat me. But watch a real man do it, okay? I'm just trying to tell y'all, this kind of dude here is totally different. Point blank, Not in front of period. Me. Where he at? <laughs> and immediately, Holy Spirit chucked me. He be busting my chops all the time. He be like, <laughs> cut it out. Dead. Dang, right? <laughs> For real. But um, he just brought it to my mind. Like, do you not understand that every person that you've 
entwined yourself with, intermingled with over the past six, seven years, like that had to happen. For you to be who you are, first of all, that had to happen. I'm sorry, baby. And now let me tell y'all something. My process was ugly. Cause, and it's so funny how God works because <laughs> just a few months ago, and I'm going to be all the way real. I was on some, who needs a man? Come on. Oh, yeah. A what? Three people said to me since 2019 up until now that I was getting married through different people, different times. And I was just like, <laughs> at first I was like, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Who? To deal with who's son? No. I was like, no. But God knew what he was doing because I was fed up and I was tired of the caliber of people that I was dealing with. And I'm like, God, every single guy I dealt with in the past, they got better than the one, the first one and the second one and the third, like it, it got better as time went on in some aspects, but it, it was always never the perfect match, perfect match. So, do you want me to get married so I can end up in jail? Or being somebody up? Like, where are we going, Jesus? And he was like, no. Every person that hurt you had to hurt you. One, like I said, you had to experience that to become who you are today. Two, they had to hurt you because they weren't meant to stay with you. Now that one almost took me out. I was like, what? Yes, they had to do what they had to do. Break your heart so you can let go. That's not where you were meant to stay. The man I have for you is going to understand how to love you and care for you and be there for you. So don't cry over spilled milk. Like that had to happen. And I was like, God, so you mean to tell me? Me crying myself to sleep at night. Me going on a rant about how much I dis oh, can't stand men. To the point where I probably was borderline on a hate man type of campaign. Like it was bad. He said yes. All of those things had to happen. Because who I designed for you is for you. And you need to understand that he's not going to be like everybody else. You for real? Mm -hmm. So my video is very short and to the point. So this is just encouraging whoever is out there, whether it be friendship or relationship wise, you could be hurt right now because a friend was dishonest with you and they weren't the person you thought that they were going to be. That woman probably was not who she portrayed herself to be. That man probably wasn't who he said he was going to be. Even if it was a family member, whoever hurt you, they were meant to hurt you. <laughs> God is intentional. He is intentional. And in his intentionality, in him being intentional, he knows what he's doing. Every tear that you've cried, every time that you have felt misunderstood and hurt, like a dagger going through your heart, it was supposed to happen. And sometimes you don't want to hear that. Because I know I didn't want to hear it. Absolutely not. But it was on purpose. For a purpose. So, with that being said, friend. In your pain. With your tears. In your confusion. In your state of anger. 
pick yourself up and understand that every person that crossed you, the person that hurt you, was supposed to. And now what you have to do now is forgive yourself for being in a situation like that, especially if you knew you weren't supposed to be there, and forgive the person. And wait for the right friends, for the right man or woman. As far as family goes, you can't wait for the right family because you stuck with them, unfortunately. Or fortunately. Not unfortunate. Some people, you know. I would just say for family to just pray and ask God to give you a level of understanding to understand for those people. And love on them even when they don't deserve to be loved. Let me pray for you all. Because there's a lot of people out there, especially in this season of family and the holidays that go through so much because I know honestly every year except in for the past two years or so around this time I would always find myself arguing with friends falling out of relationships with people left right and center it it could suck it can really really suck so I pray right now father that you would comfort their hearts I pray that you would give them answers to questions that they may have. God, give them comfort. <laughs> Wrap your arms around them, Father God. Love on them like never before. Let them feel you. Let them understand you. And I pray, Father, that you would just continue to walk with them each day, step by step, through this process. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So that's it i hope you guys really would enjoy this video i pray god would bless you all and keep you and till next time <laughs>